Ottawa's second annual Small Press Book Fair was organized by poet Rob McLennan, owner of Above Ground Press and book editor for the Ottawa Express. I decided to organize it just so the people who are publishing small magazines or have a small press can meet each other and also for the opportunity to get their work seen by an audience. We asked Roberta Hubner what brought her out to the Glebe Community Centre for the fair. I have a sort of passing interest in uh, publishing and books, uh, people doing books on their own and it seems to be the kind of thing where people uh, uh, sort of home publishing which is you know possible because of photocopying and all that sort of thing and word processing people can do it themselves as opposed to having to go to McClellan and Stewart. Chris Edwards learned about the fair from one of Rob McLennan's posters. I find uh, you can get more variety uh, in this type of uh, environment much more than in the, the bookstores. More risque. Lorraine Montgomery of Mystique Publications publishes children's stories and books with a feminine viewpoint. Uh, I think that a lot of people who write have um, become discouraged with some of the big publishers and uh, they're interested in getting their work known and, and making some kind of a name for themselves and sharing their ideas with more than just a few friends. And so the small press is maybe the way for them to go. Wholesaler Teresa Morrow of Marginal Distributors came all the way from Peterborough to participate in the fair. It gives us, us all a chance to meet each other when we might not otherwise uh, ever talk to each other in person and we get to handle each other's books and see what everybody's doing and uh, you find out about a lot of things that are going on that you wouldn't ever know about otherwise. And they're fun because you get to meet new people and it's great. John Barton is one of Canada's rising stars of poetry and the co-editor of ARC magazine. ARC magazine, which is um, Canada's national poetry magazine. It's a uh, published twice a year and represents um, Canadian poets, or the, uh, the work of Canadian poets from across the country. I think it's important that uh, editors be able to reach out to the general community and we were hoping um, to bring more attention to the publication locally and hopefully, <clears throat> even if we don't get any new subscribers today, maybe people will subscribe in the future who've come here. We asked Teresa Morrow what it takes to get a book out to the public. To be distributed, you don't need a lot to have a lot of money. You need to have a good-looking book, usually. But if your writing is good, uh, I think booksellers will always be willing to take it on and give it a chance. If you're thinking publishing is too difficult for you, Rob McLennan has some simple advice. Any moron with a computer and a photocopier you're going to be a small press now. So there have been a lot more over the last few years, um, especially since the larger presses can't afford to take a financial risk on like an unknown writer. So there's more of a need for a small press to exist. Because otherwise, you know, if you're an unknown writer, you have to get the work out there so you become a known writer or even just become a better writer. That was the Small Press Book Fair. It's been very interesting to see the wide variety of materials not available in mainstream bookstores. For Community Magazine, I'm Corinne Baumgarten.